Welcome everyone. We are here at the next video on my channel, Global Terminance Portrait by Ernst Kreusel. Today we talk about the Paralympic Games and we are at the end with the women's terminant and now we start to talk about the men's division, the men's terminant of the Paralympic Games. Today we talk about the first team and that's Algeria. About Algeria, I can't tell you as much. I start about the World Championship history. I start with the history at the World Championships. That starts in 1998 in Madrid, in Spain. Then they finished 15th place, 2002 in Rio in Brazil, they finished 12th, 2006 in Spartanburg, USA, they finished 12th, 2010 in Sheffield, England, they finished 7th place, 2014 in Espo, Finland, they finished 10th, in 2018 in Malmo, they finished 11th. When we come to the Paralympic Games, at the Paralympic Games, they competed in 1992 in Barcelona, Spain. Then they finished 12th. In 2012 in London, in England, then they reached the quarterfinal. They played in the quarterfinal against Turkey and lost the game 1-3. In 2016 in Rio, they didn't reach the quarterfinals because they lost 0-10 against Germany, 6-12 against Sweden, 2-12 against Brazil and they also won one game 17-13 against Canada but it wasn't enough to reach the quarterfinals. About the game Algeria-Canada I can tell you it was a really ridiculous game. The ridiculousest game I ever seen. That starts with, yeah, I can tell you in the first five minutes Algeria already threw three long ball penalties, Canada also threw a high ball and then they scored 2-1 for Canada. Algeria made an illegal coaching penalty Canada missed this penalty shot and directly after that Algeria threw a long ball and that penalty was a free run for Canada but Algeria fired it back with two goals to make the score 3-3 then, then the score was 6-3 for Canada the center player of Canada was ejected of the game because he cheated he looked through the eye shade and the referee saw that. The referee checked three times the eye shade of the player. And in the third time, yeah, he said, that's too much. You're ejected of the game. And then Canada, Canada had to play with two players. But nevertheless, they didn't cut a goal against. Algeria scored one goal with a penalty after this ejection. But after that, the five minutes on the clock of the first half, Canada 
don't got any goal. Also, they only played with two players. I can also tell you that Algeria, after they scored the goal with the penalty after the ejection, the first throw Algeria made was also a high ball. Yeah, maybe you think that I'm joking, but that's all true that I say. And I can prove it to you with sending you the link in the description and you can watch it by yourself. Now we come to the second half of this game. The halftime score was 6-4 for Canada. And then Canada made two halftime substitutions. They substituted all both players. And that was a thing I didn't understood because, yeah, they didn't got any goal against. And then they substituted these players. The players who played for Canada were, were Brandon Cowden and Blair Nesbitt. And then they substituted this both for Bruno Ash and Dyron Ripley. I don't know if I had the name correctly. I'm sorry if I don't. Please correct me if you know. And yeah, that was the thing. They both played. And yeah, in the first minute, they got three goals against. And then the coach made a at first a timeout and later a substitution brought Blair Nesbitt back on the court. I forgot to tell you that Blair Nesbitt also threw three long ball penalties in the first half. That was also a thing, it was 6-4 for Canada and threw three long ball penalties and Algeria missed every single penalty shot. And that was also a thing of a game that was, yeah, it felt like it, we, we had 100 penalties in this game and every, and every single penalty shot was missed because the player threw the ball directly into the fourth spot, sometimes from the spot long line on the fourth spot. That's, yeah, that's a disaster. And everyone knows that you can't throw penalty shots like that. But yeah, that was also a thing. One, it felt like 100 penalties in the game and everyone was missed badly. Yeah, and then Algeria also threw an own goal. <laughs> this game had everyone where you say a scoreboard coach that you don't want to have. <laughs> and the final score was 17-13 for Algeria. As far as I said, I will send you the link into the description of this video and you can watch it by yourself. And I would prefer that to everyone to watch. That's the thing about the Rio Paralympic Games 2016 of Algeria. If you look on what I told you, you see that Algeria isn't a team that you can name if you look on the winners of the potential winners of the Paralympic Games. And yeah, that's the truth. And it will be very difficult for Algeria to win a game if you look on the past. And yeah, I don't compare Algeria with Eddie the Eagle. 
definitely not. But yeah, that's the thing about, uh, I don't know what I should say about Algeria. Yeah, I don't know what I should tell you about what I think about Algeria, because I also don't know many things about them. Because, for example, the regional championships of Africa, I can't tell you because I don't know the results of the African championship. The reason for that is that YouTube or Facebook or Instagram doesn't report the African championship as much. And because of that, I don't know what to tell. But if you look on the World Championship and Paralympics history, Algeria isn't the one for the title and also for a medal. That's my video about Algeria. I hope you enjoyed that and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care and goodbye.